Uh, what we have here is a uh, Weller 12, a nice little, uh, what they call is a, a weeder. And that's a weeder bourbon, that's what, it, uh, that's what it's pointing out to. With an ABV of uh, 45, making it 90 proof. And uh, pretty dark and rich. Of course, uh, like just like most Buffalo Trace products, uh, has a nice little story in the back. It's clean and simple. When you're buying into the Weller line, you're getting this distinguished bottle. It's, everybody recognizes it. It's changed over the years, but basically it's always kept the same shape, which is pretty nice. Um, and, uh, and of course, um, right now, for sure, weeders are in fashion because of the sweetness, uh, uh, the taste for, uh, in the, in the American, in the American, um, for, for us here in America, for sure, we like sweet stuff. And that's why I believe the weeders have really taken off because, because it's all about sweet stuff. And then of course, being a 12 year old, which is, um, which is a great year um, for for uh, for any bourbon. That's when you start getting all the sweet notes. It's nice. That's a nice cooking time. And of course, this bourbon um, is uh, been brought to us by uh, Kenyon, and he's always a, a popular uh, uh, point of discussion. He's always a, a great bourbon uh, connoisseur, and he, he's a bourbon uh, puncher, and, and he's gotten a lot of great unicorns. And I don't want to even call them. Uh, uh, unicorn Slayer, and uh, this is just something else he slayed, and of course this is going to be a bottle open, and and I always like to give uh, <clears throat> those uh, well deserved. Uh, I mean, it's your bottle, Kenyon, so please open it. It's all you. <laughs> and then you don't get that that nice uh, you don't get that nice cork top, which is you know it's it's. Uh, I guess at this price point, it's supposed to be around uh, uh, 50, 50 to, um, to 100. I think I've even seen 100, maybe even sometimes. What, what is the popular? The cheapest I've seen it in 2020 was like $35 before tax. But the... if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a, a good, a good hunter would definitely get that price. A good unicorn slayer, I, was, I should say. Okay. I've seen them go up towards like 200, 250 on the, on the back end. There you go, Kenyon. And uh, up front, it smells pretty light. And uh, it's gonna be first impressions. What we think here, give it a little nice little swirl. We're using uh, neat glasses and I uh, always prefer these. Uh, they have a great, uh, they, they help you get a great nose and let you taste it as, as you're smelling it, which, which really makes for a great bourbon glass. It definitely tastes like a 12 year old. Um, yeah, you can taste the, uh, some of the char. Um, and uh, it's kind of light, like to anything we've uh, been having. Um, it's, yeah, it tastes light. It'll taste like, I don't know. I was expecting this to be better than the 107. Well, it's not as bright as the 107. It's uh, only 45, 45%. As a, you know, it's a low, lower ABV. I had more flavor off of the 107. But that's what usually, like, higher ABVs for sure uh, help distribute the taste on your tongue. First, they taste real bright, but they really, they really, um, they really uh, irrigate your tongue with all the flavor. Mm -hmm. And definitely, this doesn't have that. It's it's actually a real short taste. It's not. It's no not, long finish. No, no long finish. Yeah, short finish. Uh, it's everything is light about it, the smell. I mean, I smell um, for sure those little toffee candies. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's even like a hint of coffee, even like like just like it's but it's light. It's just light. I mean, you get more of a smell off a Starbucks cup for sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but 
What are those Mexican caramel candies like La, la, la Lechera? Oh, La Lechera, there you go. It smells like a La Lechera. It reminds me of yeah, that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, La Lechera. But everything about it, it's, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're looking, if you're looking for bold, bold flavor, this is not it. But if you're looking for all around, uh, just very drinkable, very, very sessionable. Um, you can, it's not in your face. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's a light bourbon. It's. No spice, or maybe a hint. Maybe it's spicy at the end, but barely. I mean, it's. A, I mean, it's a wheater, so for sure. That's what the. When you're missing rye from your recipe, you get almost no spice. Oh man, I see a I see a hint of disappointment. If you can, if you guys could see Kenyon's uh, face, he, he's not as uh, enthused about it. I expect him more. I, yeah. I, I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I thought I thought because of the twelve years, it's been aged longer than the one hundred seven. Maybe the barrel proof. I think it's been aged longer than the barrel proof. I thought it was gonna be good. Like it's it's solid. It's no, no, it's good. It's good. I but, just, but it's because Kenyon, you can't compare it to uh, to uh, we're just having the yeah, other. Yeah. yeah, this is this is not. A, I mean, it, it is a unicorn to some extent, but I want to call it. Uh, this is just like a like a, I want to call it a zebra, maybe or like yeah, uh, yeah. A, a, more people have seen them than a unicorn for sure. Uh, probably like a mountain lion in El Paso. Like yeah. you'll, you'll see them at night, like up on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. If you look hard enough. If you hunt, you don't have to be a, a, a experienced hunter to catch a weller, uh, especially a weller 12. At least not in this market. I don't know how it is for uh, you other guys, but <clears throat> but if you look if you look hard enough, you can find one. It's not gonna be like a like a Pappy or a, a George T or something. Out of the weller line, that's probably, I would compare this maybe to the 10. I've never had the green. I probably never will. <laughs> But uh, the Weller 12 and the Weller 107 is probably the easier one to find. Well, you know what? The, the green, the reserve, it's just, it's this, just lighter. It's even lighter than this, if you oh, can wow. imagine. It's 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 this, but with less of a flavor profile. I mean, it's it's all the same mash bill, just uh, this one just was distinguished enough to let let uh, age long enough to be a 12. and. Uh, and of course, we all know if you keep on aging them, uh, they grow up to be. So to wrap it up, Weller 12, solid bourbon at the right price points, and depending on who you talk to, but definitely should be part of your cabinet. Thanks, thank you guys, and have a beautiful rest of your day.